Hi right, guys, I'm uh, making a video today on laser re-tipping claws. Now, I couldn't find anything on YouTube the other day when I went looking for it. So I thought I'd make a video. Now, re-tipping over the top of claws. The old way of doing it was uh, making some wire uh, and soldering that wire on top of the... Uh, the old claw and cleaning it up, pushing it over the stone, but with the technology that's out now, it, uh, there's better ways of going about it, you know, like doing it this way, there's no solder joints, so you've just got all metal, no weak solder joints, but uh, so what I'm trying to do is, this, this is just, uh, it's just a cheaper style ring, uh, stones come out of it, claws are burnt out and worn out, rather than replacing the whole claw just sort of building up metal on top so just shooting a little bit on and then hitting it from other angles to make sure that there's no bubbles there's no air or there's no little bits underneath on the inside of the claw that are uh, going to create like little cavities there later so the one there's starting to look pretty good and uh, another uh, positive to doing laser retips is uh, there's very little clean up later on the machine I'm working on at the moment is uh, SL20 uh, Zero Laser Tech, so a German made machine, it's a beauty. I've had it for a couple of years now and um, yeah, it hasn't let me down, so but there's, uh, there's cheaper machines coming out all the time, um, but oh, man, this is brilliant, it does it all. Uh, and just working these claws up. Look, it does take a little bit of time, but compared to the old school way of doing it, um, there's no comparison in, uh, in time. You know, like doing it the other way takes a lot longer to set it all up. You gotta draw the wire down where the, uh, the wire I'm using at the moment, it's uh, about 0 0.3 of a millimeter. Um, I just ordered this in from my local metal supplier and uh, you can make it but in some metals, trying to get it down that far, the wire does crack and it's just better to get your company to do it, your metal supplier to do it if you can. But, yeah, like I said, there's very little out there on, uh, on how to get this stuff done, so I thought I'd make a video now. I hope this is helpful, but um, if you've got any questions, Put them in the comments below and I'll, uh, I'll do my best to answer them. But uh, it's relatively new technology and people haven't really shared a great deal on it yet. So I think I'll make some more in the future of uh, little hacks that you can use to uh, put yourself out of trouble with the laser. But um, yeah, just to be done with this one. So I'll just go quiet and... Um, finish this off so you can see how it's done. Now, for those of you who don't know like how a laser works, it, it shoots a, a beam of light at the piece, um, but super, super hot. So it melts the metal in a very, very specific area. And uh, 
That's what makes it good for if you're heating uh, near, near like a non-heat tolerant stone, um, you can't solder. So it makes this really good because you can get in there, you can fix up joins, cracks, um, anything like that uh, without heating anywhere near the stone, which is uh, it's always a bonus. But um, yeah, bloody useful machine. You know, they they used to be very expensive. I think this one's probably worth I think it was about forty six thousand or something when like, when I got this one. But uh, you can pick them up for as little as about twelve grand or something now, which is um, super cheap. And if you're thinking about buying one, just do it because. Uh, It'll save you a lot of time, and uh, they're actually really fun to use as well. So, so I can pretty much call this job done, um, looking at that. So I put a little bit on this tip there earlier. It's built up enough there, so they're going to need a little bit of a cleaner. Uh, but, yeah, I'll just take that over to the setting bench now, drop the stone in, push the cores over, um, beat over the top, and... Uh, yeah, polish it up and send it out the door. That one's done. Yeah, all right. Well, uh, like I say, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, but other than that, until next time.